the uh, the words female and manipulation really go hand in hand, and there's a biological basis for it. Um, there's a biological basis for the ability of the female, the human female, to manipulate the male, and essentially to get him to do her bidding. This is rooted in our evolutionary history, and it has uh, deep-seated consequences, in my opinion, particularly for men. Of course, it has consequences for women as well, but that's not what this channel is about, and uh, that's not, also not my concern. And I will admit that some of this is freely plagiarized, if such thing is possible, on YouTube from Girl Rights What. I'm also going to post this video as a response, well, not really a response so much as a, an addition to what I had previously said about the uh, upwards battle, um, the upwards biological battle, the, up, the battle up the hill, as it were, the, the hill of biology, because it is uh, related to that. And as Girl writes what has said on a few occasions, that uh, in ancient times, uh, or in prehistoric times, the man defended uh, defended himself with a spear, and the woman defended herself with the man. Um, it makes sense um, if you, even if you don't grant too much credence to evolutionary psychology, that women have over the millennia and millions of years, the female, the human female, developed an ability to. They're much more efficient social at socializing than men are. I mean that. That's uh, been documented in a whole bunch of studies. I mean, that, that's what they used to do. They had to do that in earlier times, cooperation, things of that nature. Um, and certainly they must have, in the course of that, uh, of that span of time, also developed the skills, the, corol uh, the, corol the corollary skills of, of being able to uh, make a man do what she wants. And... Uh, whilst the, the origin or the driving force behind that might be the man's desire to procreate, i.e. pussy, um, I think women are indeed equipped with a whole set of skills that allow them to further that. That is, uh, social skills, cognitive skills, and uh, other skills um, that might not be uh, entirely detectable. See, I'm, contrast to what many might believe, I'm not interested in women bashing. I will grant them, uh, women are clearly better than men at certain things, and that's a biological basis, just as men are better at women than women at certain things. And one of these things, as I said, uh, have been saying is manipulation. Women are consummate manipulators. Um, they, you can see this, on, see this on so many levels, and in modern society, you can see this manifested in the way they manipulate social justice, the way they manipulate the court systems, and yeah, the way they manipulate uh, the government itself, the state itself, uh, to their benefit. And when I say that, is I'm not saying that they, you know, march to the, in the Capitol building uh, of said country and then, you know, wave a magic wand and uh, cast their their eldritch, eldritch uh, witch powers, but rather they usually get this, uh, these things affected uh, through the work of men, as usual. You see where I'm getting at, uh, what I'm getting at here. Women are, in fact, consummate manipulators, and I suspect in previous eons, maybe they had to be, in order to uh, ensure the survival, survival of our species. And I don't think a lot of men get this, uh, that women are more skillful manip manipulators than men are. Um, it's not to say that's universally so, that in each and every case, but generally that is the case. And I'm certainly not saying this to put down men <laughs> at all. I'm actually saying this as a warning. The consequence, in my opinion at least, the consequence that needs to be taken from this as a man, is that you must be especially circumspect in your dealings with women on all levels. But God forbid you decide to enter into some sort of, some kind of romantic dalliance with a female, you need to be on guard. Um, and I think the healthiest and best thing a man can do, 
quite frankly, is to maintain the default position of mistrust towards the human female. And this needs to be maintained indefinitely. Now, by mistrust, I don't mean uh, when she leaves the house or let, let's say you're in one of those uh, miasmic things we call relationships. Uh, every time she, and she leaves the house, it doesn't mean you go for a pocketbook every two seconds. But with regards to her verbal communication, with regards to even her gestures, and, regard, and certainly with regards to what she plain, plainly and openly states as her intentions, you should not trust that. Should you believe it to be the exact opposite? Well, I think you'd probably have to take that on a case-by-case -case basis. But the understanding here is simply that women are better manipulators than men. Much of that manipulative energy that they have access to is directed towards men um, for reasons of history and biology. So it is essential that the man be on guard. If men in this particular respect are quote unquote inferior to women, if we are not as skilled, manip as skilled manipulators as women, if we are not as skilled at manipulating other people, and if we are indeed quite possibly, well, I think very likely, more susceptible to it, A, because of our insane addiction towards women, and B, simply because we don't have the exact same faculties that allow us to exercise the same manipulation against other people, then there can really only be one default position for every man, and that is the position of mistrust towards females, particular and particularly in the romantic sphere. God forbid you decide to actually enter into one of those miasmic things we call relationships. Well, you know, by all means, I'm not, I'm not here to tell anyone what to do. It's, it's your life, and no, and, and that's, also, that's also not an admonition or I'm not reproaching anyone. I really believe, you know, you, you do whatever you got to do. But the default position with regards to women should also always, always, always be um, one of, of distrust. You probably could extend it to most people, including men, but I'm concentrating on this, essentially this romantic constellation we have here. So, and that needs to be taken, on, as I said, on a case-by-case -case basis. If, it's not necessarily saying if, 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 if a woman says A, that she means necessarily Z, you're not skipping down the alphabet, but uh, be cautious. Uh, it's uh, very important, in my opinion. Um, and I think we've all floundered and, and made massive mistakes because we uh, trust women. Extending this, um, the proponents of of the relationship proponents, people who, uh, who are constantly telling us how good it is to have relationships and how important it is. And, you know, you can define importance how you, as, as you will, uh, certainly in terms of procreation or what have you, yes, relationships are important. But um, who, who are the proponents always telling us that trust is the basis of every relationship? Now, this might sound like a blanket statement, and I don't have uh, statistical evidence in front of me, uh, but based on, not my feeling, but what I've read over and over and over again, it's very often women who are making this statement. Um, and, and, and once again, this statement, it's not so much a, a shaming tactic, as it, it's, a, it's a tactic of manipulation. I think when women tell men, you know, you, you need to trust me, and we, we the relationship cannot work without trust. It, it is essentially telling the man to drop his guard. You know, don't, don't, don't be as cautious. Don't be distrustful. You can trust me. And um, many men do that. I think a lot of us do. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. Um, I think it's downright dangerous in many ways because. As I said, we are very susceptible to female manipulation. Just as females have evolved to be consummate masters of that of, of manipulation of men, we have been, very sadly, we have evolved to become consummate pawns of that manipulation in many regards. The only things you can do to 
defend yourself against that of course they're coming aware realizing these things internalizing it, and I do mean internalizing it. it's one thing as they say to recognize something that's entirely a different thing to actually put it into practice so internalizing this realization is the most important thing and then just be on guard don't don't trust anything a woman tells you um, especially especially when it comes to those uh, miasmic things we call relationships and I think that's the most important thing you can do uh, in this regard now yeah, if you choose to engage in relations with a woman just do not trust her um, now some people might argue that'll you know drive you crazy make you paranoid well maybe it will but the, uh, the alternative is you trust her and uh, she leads you into utter ruination and destroys your life, potentially. I don't think that's necessarily a good uh, option. But I think the default position is uh, distrust. And, of course, always, always remain aware that a, a woman will always put her own interests ahead of yours and that she has no interest in you beyond that which you can do for her. If you actually feel content in that role, I'm not necessarily going to criticize you for that. But um, if, if if you are simply if you are content as a, a a thing of human doings, as many have said, as opposed to a human being, then remember that uh, a you will be manipulated, and b um, those doings will be manipulated as well. And c as soon as you can't do any more, you will be done away with. So anyway, I, I've been thinking about this the entire day and uh, I thought I'd make a video about it. So cheers for watching.